Ooh. Well, that's quite strong. This is a clear message you've given. Um, oh, wow. Mike, hello. Yes, yeah, um, BMW. Do not change the colour. No, no, don't. I, I don't think it would be safe. It's a strong, yeah. Definitely, come up with an alternative. All right, mate, good luck. Yep, yep, roger that. Right, cheers, Richard. Bye-bye. Bye. So, you guys really like the colour of our V10 BMW, and a lot of you have made sure to tell me in the comments not to change it. So, today's video is us setting about protecting it. This is Reap Midlands, where the car will get the full shebang. It'll get a full detail, so there's not even the tiniest crumb or dried up flake of snot anywhere in the carpet. All the front facing parts of the car will get paint protection film applied, and then the rest of the car will get as tip top a ceramic coating as possible. Our car currently has more power than when it came out of the factory, and hopefully by the end of today's video, it will look better than when it came out of the factory. Our E61 has nearly hit 100,000 miles, and if I'm honest, aesthetically, I think it's held up pretty damn well. When I first bought it, there was the odd stone chip and a bit of lacquer peel, but apart from that, it's been okay. But we don't want it to just be good enough, we want our M5 to be one of the best. There's no point in putting paint protection film on a car that's got stone chips and scratches, so a couple of weeks ago, we sent our touring away for some paint. Chartwell, just up the road in Derby, were fantastic in taking the M5 in to paint correct all the little nicks on the car. That meant a full respray for the bumper, bonnet, front wings, mirrors, and some small bits of the rear quarters. Lacquer was then applied to make it look super fresh, and the paint was left for two weeks to cure. In this video, you could say our M5 Touring is getting a glow up. So Pete, you're the co-director here at Reap Midlands. What do you think of our M5 Touring? Lovely car, needs a bit of TLC. Yes. Someone's obviously carefully prepared it with a brick before it came here, but <laughs> we won't talk about that, we'll sort that out. Okay, so it's coming in for paint protection, ceramic coating, and then a proper detail. Correct. Your guys have already cleaned it outside, so it's looking great to me. What is yep. the first step for getting this car in and out of here? So, main thing is, Cleaning it's the start of the process. Yeah. We've then got to enhance the paintwork, bring it up to standard. Because if you imagine if we don't prepare the paintwork as best as we possibly can, you put a clear film or clear glossy film over poor paint, it'll accentuate scratches, marks, indentations. So trapping it all in. So, so we're going we're gonna to correct the paint with a little bit of flatting, the Roops machine polisher, just to get out any holograms, swirl marks, I would say chips, but been, been painted recently at Chartwell? Yes, absolutely. So the paint works pretty pristine now anyway. Yeah. So once the paint's been corrected, we'll be applying the PPF in the clean rooms. Okay. Then after that, ceramic coating to make the rest of the car look clean, shiny, protected, good to go. Okay, and your guys have been working hard over here. What looked like stenciling out yeah. the car? Is that due to its age? Because this was kind of pre-PPF, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the original pattern on this car, going back to what year was it built? Uh, 07. So 07, the patterns for PPF weren't particularly popular because it's quite some time ago. Yeah. The patterns then didn't really have the right coverage. So what we've done, we've actually patterned and templated the panels to bring it up to the modern coverage. So you get really good edging all the way to the edges, no nasty relief joins. Yeah. So we do it properly first time around. Okay, so the first part of the process is getting this car into that bay and then your yep. guys cracking on. Yep. Make the magic happen. Cool, let's see it.
Nick, you're the senior installer here at Reap, and you've put on that front wing so far. That seems to go on really nicely. What dictates that? Is that the cut of the wrap itself, or is that the paint finish? Pretty much, it's a combination of everything, really. The, the pattern designers um, do a good job, so when they make the pattern right, it makes it a lot easier for us to install. Sometimes sure. measurements can be slightly off. Sometimes cars have optional extra trims and mud guards that aren't accounted for, but on this, it was a really nice pattern, just went straight on. Okay, that looks, I mean, from my perspective, a kind of easy bit, but you're now gonna go onto the bumper, and I've been told this is pretty damn tricky. It may well be, yeah. Uh, it's a first for both of us installing, so we'll see. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to you explaining how this goes on, because yeah, that's a, that's a big bit of PPF over there. So it is, yeah. Good luck with that. Thanks. What's the job of this little tool here? So the squeegee is just to squeegee out your, uh, your excess water and solution inside. So when you, when you want the film to stick, you then rinse out your slip solution just with neat water. Okay, so that's straight water you're spraying in there. Yeah, so then that just enables the film to stick where you want it to stick. So is it a case of no going back once you've done this? Or no, just no, no, lots once, of once, it's, uh, once it's stuck down, you can easily just lift it back up again okay. with your shampoo solution and re-manoeuvre it to where you need to be. I would like to have a go, but I also don't want to mess it up. So how can I do a bit of bonnet without being a nuisance? Okay, what we'll do is Moonshot will get the, the main tack points down, which will give cool. you a nice big area of slip solution, and you can have a go at squeegeeing out. Just, okay. Okay? I'll be back. Okay. Okay, so main thing is, is the squeegee. Thank you. Number one rule when you're squeegeeing out is always pull your squeegee. So you never want to push because yep. you'll snag the film. Okay. So we're just pulling overlapping motions, about 50% overlap each time, and you're just pulling the water down towards the front. Okay, All so right. everything's coming down towards the front. It you. is, yeah. Okay, so just cool. give it a go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that does feel good. It's very satisfying. I'm just waiting for the whole thing to skid off down the front. It's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> uh, right, is that's that it. okay? And then from there, just, just keep going from yep, there and start keep the next pushing. step down and start working your way down. Oh, it is nice. It's like the inverse of taking the security screen off your phone when you first get it. Yeah. I feel like OCD people, if they could do this to their phone and reapply it, they'd have an absolute time in their lives. I don't want to go too near the edge. That's good. That's right, fine. I'm happy with that. Right. Thank you for my PPF experience. Beautiful. Not a problem. I'll send you an invoice. <laughs> We love a repeat sponsor on Drive Tribe, so I'm very happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by eBay, who are back supporting the channel. You can get every car care product you could possibly want for your vehicle from eBay, whether it be instant detailer, wheel cleaner, polish, a polisher, ceramic coating, everything you could ever want can be found brand new from a trusted supplier on eBay. And if you want your car to look as good as the Drive Tribe M5, well, by the end of today's video, we've made it super easy to find all of the products that we've used on the car. Click the link in the description below where you'll find every product that's gone on our M5 in today's video. 
To support the launch of this video, eBay has locked in an up to 25% discount off of car care and cleaning products. So get stuck in while you can. Click the link, have a browse and see what you fancy. Again, a massive thank you to eBay for supporting the Drive Tribe channel. So now that the main film is on, how much overlap are you leaving? I see the, the knife coming out there. How much overlap do you leave and sort of tuck around? So what we're going to aim to do on, on your front edge, we'll loose trim about 10 mil and then wrap it round. And then on the sides, on this particular bonnet, it's a double stepped edge. Yes. Okay. So it will come down again. So we'll try and leave as much as possible down the side. Um, but. Okay, it's a so little bit more of a, a difficult bonnet to wrap on these. Is 10 mil quite standard for all of the, the parts on the car? Yeah, just pretty much. Round. Yeah, it's just to give, I mean, in reality, you're very unlikely to get a chip on the underside of your bonnet. Yeah. But it's just there to add security to the film um, for not in case it was to lift or anything like that. And what we've just seen there is taking all the liquid and air out of there. What if you have left the tiniest bit of fluid underneath. So at the moment, it's still, it's got a bit of maneuverability. So right. if there was a moisture bubble, for example, in the middle of the bonnet, we've got a couple of options. You can either try and maneuver it out. If you feel it go tight and not want to move, it's probably the point where you'd say, well, we'll either leave it for it to disperse or depending on when the car's going out, we'll pierce it, hypodermic needle, drain the fluid out. Okay, but, and even that, that tiny little pinprick in there, will that show or is that no. easily coverable? No, you wouldn't even see it. You right. wouldn't even okay. know. Okay, but preferably you'd be able to lift it and sort of Yeah, it. in an ideal world, you'd lift it or just leave it for it to disperse by itself. Okay, and then this badge area at the front here, what's yep. the situation with this? So what we'll do with this, because obviously your badge is going back on in place, we will, loose trimmer circle inside there, wrap this outer edge so you've got coverage under the badge sort of and then it. put the badge back on. Right, okay, very good. The guys made sure every inch of the front end was perfectly covered. With a little help from myself, the PPF was in place and it was on to the next stage of the glow up. So the PPF has now been applied to our M5 and we will be putting it to the test. I'm a bit scared about it later in the video, but now we're moving on to a ceramic coating and we're gonna be applying this stuff, Crystal Serum Ultra from G-Technic. This is pretty high-end stuff and the process takes quite a few hours. So I'm looking forward to seeing that and the car looking even better than it does right now. We have used this stuff on a car before. If you guys have watched our epic video over in Virginia with the Lotus Evora, we set a world record that day. We put this stuff on it and it dealt with absolutely everything. Stone chips, one of the nastiest dirt tracks in America. The car was completely fine. So this on the M5 should work perfect. The M5 was initially given a machine polish before it was time for the coating. This stuff is the top coating from G-Technic, with the whole point being that it is super hydrophobic, so it repels water and dirt, which will keep the paint looking glossy and retaining a nice shine that will match the sheen of the PPF. It's also very durable compared to most other ceramic coatings, and you have to be an accredited detailer to apply it versus one that you could just do at home. Hence why it'll be the lads at REAP putting it on the car. Finishing things off with a few more coating goodies, next up it was all hands on deck for the interior detail. The frequent use of this car for filming Drive Tribe videos definitely shows on the interior, so it'll be good to see it spanking fresh once again. And while we were at it, we threw in some self-branding so that if you see this car out on the roads, you know it's the Drive Tribe M5. 
Seemingly the entire Reap team's getting stuck in on the car now and it's being transformed before our eyes. But this, for me, is the worst bit of the interior. Ironically, an entire bottle of G-Technic from a few weeks ago spilled and I was wondering what the smell was. It was a really nasty stain, this white stain on the boot floor. I thought it would come out, but I think it needs a proper wet backing. And it's gone underneath into this little tool bay here, these nasty white stains. So it will be really good to get those wet backed and get this boot looking as good as it should. Speaking of the boot, there's the nastiest bit of this car's history, the fire that happened in this back right corner. One thing that we're gonna tick off is cleaning up the wiring in there. There's still some literal soot from when the fire happened. So it'll be good to get that cleaned up and completely eradicate this car's nasty history. The car is looking phenomenal, but we did have a deal. You we guys did. would PPF it for me, but you also wanted me to test that PPF. How exactly is that test gonna happen? I've got your toy, a wire brush. That Free is boots. a wire brush. Get it ready for you, sir. I mean, I'm, I'm immediately, I, I want to gag looking at this thing. You want scratch me to away. just scratch the car, looking yep. like this? It's all been done, it's all protected, there's nothing to worry about, it's ready to go, scratch it. Okay, just to be clear, I do not want to do this. I'm telling you to do it. It's, it's part of the deal. Okay, let's go. Ah! Give it some welly. That is scared. the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, this is revolting. I, I literally want to throw up. It's painful to watch. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I, I do not want to do this. It was just part of the deal. Oh, that sound. <coughs> oh, God, this is really... Right, that's enough, that's enough. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. Right, you've told me to do that. Yep, agreed. Now show me, show me how you're gonna fix that, because that's horrendous. A little bit of heat. We'll accelerate it with a bit of heat, it will disperse. So a heat gun and that disappears. Temperature from the ambient, temperature from the, the room. It's not quite warm enough in here. We'll add a little bit of heat with a heat gun, disperse like that. You better be right, 100%. You guys have loved the spec of our M5 Touring, so all we've done today is fully protect it for many, many more years to come. I think it looks absolutely immaculate now, as good if not better than from factory. It has been very painful doing that experiment with the wire brush. I'm still sweaty and clammy from it, but what a result. They're honestly, every single angle, there's nothing left there, which is pretty amazing. That means when I'm out on the road and I maybe do slightly ding it or drag it along a hedge, just a bit of heat and it will go completely back to fresh. PPF is pretty amazing stuff and I thoroughly recommend you getting it for your own car. Now that our M5 is in my eyes perfect, especially considering it's a 2007 car, the next thing I'm gonna do is completely change it. Not the spec, not the color or anything, but it's gonna be a very, very cool change that I think will really benefit the car. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Drive.